Guess who has a debater, Apostle? Hehehehe. <laughs> oh no. That would be a shame, Ottomans, wouldn't it? If I were to start moving my units through here. Just debating my way through all of your missionaries. Oh, beautiful. And bam, another oh, unit falls. Oh, it's this religion in Radom on the Polish border. If I can get rid of that, I'm going to feel much more positive about my chances of this assault. It is being very annoying. Got a couple of Apostles behind the scenes I can potentially look to attack now. That will help a lot but another city flips from Hungary. I say flips. I am physically flipping it like I'm pulling a table over. That counts doesn't it? That's just another way of doing these things. You can't go anywhere Ottomans. No 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 no. The military alliance will continue. Don't want to let them flip away. That would be very annoying. Especially as we're just about to have some fun with your religion. Bam. <laughs> What are you going to do? You just signed an alliance. And now it follows my religion. So temporarily, my taxes is now at a delightful plus 12. And don't worry, that will only get better. Tell you what, I need that combat bonus. I really do, because we are not exactly struck. Struggling is the wrong word. But there is a lot more resistance now to our occupation. We're unable just to run anywhere we want unopposed. We're having to fight quite heavily, which is a bit annoying. However, it does mean we have to stop and do a little bit more pillage which is never a bad thing, I guess. Please, would you remove yourself from my land and take my religion with you? Oh, Lublin. Yes. Oh, that's another good city to flip. I like that. And what I especially like is the ability to get battleships. Now, I don't know what coal is. That's my big issue. However, what I do know is that there are a lot of people on this map with an awful lot of coal, like Spain, for instance. What I'm hoping is that just by flirting a little bit of money in front of them, yeah, okay, so they will sell me coal. There will be a couple of people selling me coal, but I probably can't get too many battleships. We've got to reserve this sort of treatment to armadas of named units. So like RB Edge, Zaf, Walla Walla Bear, all of these sort of units that are running around. They're probably going to be the ones that get this treatment. I have, however, found a lot of oil and a lot of it is already under districts, which is wonderful. The oil will come in very handy with siege equipment, but especially handy with tanks. Not that we need much of it. Advantage of the tanks that are spawned from my hippodromes is that they don't take oil. My regular ones, and I'm buying a lot of them, they will take oil, so it's not like I can just ignore it, but yeah, this will help massively. Oh, you left yourself exposed again. Ha ha ha. Even Phoenicia is discovering the beauty and love of my religion. Yes. They don't have a religion of their own, so this isn't as effective, but what this does do is give me crusade, which means my boats are hitting like trucks. The letter is almost ready to be liberated, I'm almost there. Just bringing a melee unit over to come and finish this. But the Phoenician fleet is being bulldozed. They're now down to, where are you? 1,300. They're on 2,200 for the longest time. Spain is still on 4,400. I do not want to find myself fighting Spain. That would be very annoying. I have to be a little bit careful. There's mobilization. We have unlocked armies. That's good stuff. Levy on mass would save us 168 gold per turn, which seems like a good idea until you realize that a single pillage is worth 439 which means that that boost itself is worth about 140 gold. So just one pillage with that card in beats the other card. It's amazing. Well, there we'll go mass media, ideology, and I think through to the naughty government because fascism's plus five combat strength and 50% production towards units. Oh yeah, that's something that we need in our lives. Actually, we're going to do some attacks and start to make some armies. These things are going to hit very, very hard. There's another city fallen. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Where do I send my spy? I think I'm going to send my spy to Poland. I need to find a city that I can get to fairly quickly like Berlin and that'll give me a beautiful plus three combat strength against them which I need desperately. A little bit of religious combat here and bam you need to just get back to my religion. Don't don't be playing this game. You're following my religion and you love it. Aquilia follows my religion. Oh that's a big swing. That's a big swing and one that very much favors me. Come on pest. Give up. Give up. Join Byzantium. You know you want to. Oh, that's a big high roll on damage there. They did want to join. Right. Two cities left on Hungary. We now share a border with Germany.
Germany who has started to embrace my religion as well. That's interesting. That's interesting. I don't know if I necessarily want to push into Germany, but at the same time, why stop? How's Babylon doing? Well, they've started the Mars colony, but so far have not completed it. I mean, we're still quite a long way away, but I'm beginning to tech up and I'm ever closer to tanks now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a huge combat boost. Let me just show you. Kurosawa's 80, uh, sorry, 64 strength. Tanks, 85. So just one upgrade, 21 extra power. That's big. This is the sort of thing we want to see. This is where we want to push. Now you might be looking at this and thinking, Asa, why are you settling a minus 20 loyalty city? Well, don't forget, religion bomb. The letter now follows my religion, which is wonderful. We are spreading it in the south as well. And all I need is a couple of hits on this beautiful little city state and bam. We spread even more religion to even more cities around. Yep, that's looking really good. And before we liberate it, let's just have a little bit of fun. I'm going to purchase with a bit of gold. Let's have a look. I think we're going to go Curasa. Then I'll buy an arena and get a Curasa. And then I'll use that. Just make a nice core. Then I'll buy a zoo. Move you into the sea. And uh, I've produced a load of units. And then I can liberate it. So that just spawned me three units worth of troops. Sure, it was expensive. It, of course it was expensive but the letter back in my life oh it's so good i'm probably going to lose it almost immediately but don't forget we can always conquer it again if we need to there is no such thing as long-term loyalty in games like this we do what we must and clint reborn dr bobby i'll be hedge they're all here the whole gang is here just rinsing out walls left right and center what else would we be doing this is how byzantium rolls just a steamroller that never stops we can we must never stop sometimes things happen for good reasons Setia has flipped away from me, which is annoying. But if I retake it, I'll get another religion bomb and then Rome will fall and follow my religion. So really, is that a bad thing? We're not sure. Plus, more pillaging. In fact, I saw another pillage down here, which means hopefully, there we go, we have steel. Next up, combustion. Extract an artifact. That's probably something we should have, if not could do. Neken, where are you over here? Could we just buy an archaeologist? No, because it's broken. <laughs> Okay, my pillaging may have been a little bit ambitious. Let's put it that way. That's no, fine. Doesn't matter. I'd rather have got the culture. Arabia is just bogging themselves down into a big old dogfight with me in the middle of the plains, which again works really well for me because it means I've got time to kill their units and spread my religion as we go. We're actually managing to push the other side here towards Medina. No religion spread there at the moment, but it's fine. Also, I keep forgetting at the start of every turn, I need to re-spread this religion. Konya keeps insisting on flipping to their own religion again. Please stop. You don't need to do that. Follow my religion forever. It's so much better. Also, Georgia keeps embarking all of their missionaries. It's like, okay, you're going to do that? I'm just going to keep killing you. Oh, have you left yourself open? I think Poland's moved a wing to Sar into a place where I can attack it and two cities flip, including Radom. All right, we can get in here now. That's fine. It's really tough. I might need to wait until we actually have tanks before we get anywhere decent. But that's a huge improvement for me. Gadir is the next city to fall for Phoenicia. Again, just the endless era score as we convert more and more and more. RB Hedge decides to unleash 102 combat strengths worth of damage on Amrit. That's uh, brutal. The city falls immediately and we continue to spread our religion even further. Baruta, I think you are a city we need to now take as well. Clint reborn, get in there. Dr. Bobby, confidence range finding, of course you do. A little bit more combat and Kume now falls. Rome is doing its absolute best to avoid my religion. The Inquisition in that city must be for real. Don't worry, we'll get that. We'll get that. I won't let them do anything that will hurt our empire in the long run. It's the Industrial Era. How am I only just getting to the Industrial Era when Babylon's going to Mars? Hmm. Just Civ 6 things, eh? Just Civ 6 things. Actually, they are expanding their nation quite considerably. Who's in a Dark Age? Egypt, good. Germany, good. Venetia, good. Arabia, even better. Hungary, fantastic. Gilgabro, not so good. Rome, amazing. Gaul. Who's in a golden age? Georgia. Georgia's going to be an absolute pain. We're not planning on going after Spain or France or Babylon. We are, but that's kind of like a final boss. So I don't think it's too bad. Right, to arms. I want to be able to get into golden age wars. I like the idea of having 15% extra production towards military units, seeing as most of my cities are producing military units. How else do you think I've got a military strength for 4,200? The Byzantine army is, or should be, the biggest biggest the world has seen. Unfortunately, I'm in a bit of an arms race with Spain, but they have anti-tank, they have ironclads. It doesn't count 
but don't worry, I'm gonna get my own sort of ironclad. Okay, right, Ottomans, you are you are beginning to test my patience now. This religion needs to go. Don't need to keep bringing it back from the brink, okay? <laughs> we don't need to, else I'm gonna have to just produce hundreds and hundreds of apostles and it's gonna be very annoying. Let's see if my theory about Setia works then. So we're gonna go one, two attacks. Is this gonna spread religion again to Rome? It does. I told you this would work. Okay, Rome now follows my religion. Well, ain't that fortunate slash unfortunate, whatever. Yep, our government is still in place. We're gonna continue raiding. Bit more science, bit more science. Oh, so close now. I will discover tanks. I will, I promise you that. I've managed to lure the Roman Navy out, which is pretty cool. Let's see if we can get a couple of decent kills in here. Like, bam, yep, that's good. There's more Navy behind, but don't worry. We have a lovely taxes bonus, so we're hitting hard. One thing just to be aware of. Um, yeah, Babylon does have jet fighters and they are using them and they do not have an aluminium problem. Just need to be aware, 2000 military strength. It's gonna bite so hard when we get close. Damietta has been taken, which means there we go. More religion pressure. Sana is now falling. Medina has its first impact on it. Oh, that's good. Didn't think it would take long and turns out it wouldn't. Next up, Kamun. That will now flip and yes, you can see we're just, we're really spreading. Shedet, I have a much more powerful unit for you. Aleppo is converted. Oh, we're right up against the borders of them now. Let's take over Buto as well. Only one city remaining for Egypt and the city of Apu, which is defended mainly by the fact that it's really difficult to get to. I guess that's a valid defense. A little bit of pillaging and there's combustion. I could at this point literally now just go to modern armor and just ride this train all the way, but I'm tempted to go back and fill in a couple of texts. I mean, I don't know what military tactics or pikemen are, so... <laughs> Let's go for industrialization briefly so I can unlock coal. That will unlock battleships and then we'll go modern armor. But yeah, that's that's pretty helpful because I've got a couple of units just lined up on the border here. I've got 18 oil coming in per turn. It's only 310 for, because I've got force modernization for what is a core upgrade and bam. Suddenly we have tanks. Tanks and tanks and tanks and tanks. Some would say tanks a lot, Ursa. And I would say yes, that is a lot of tanks also artillery yeah i'm hoping 120 damage and that's without crusade yep i think we should have a little bit more luck on this front now everyone's gonna come back and just upgrade on the most fought after fronts like all this stuff all of these tanks <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is going to be wonderful. I shouldn't find this so funny, but I do. I'm, I think I'm just quite twisted. We are racing through these techs. Every pillage, I get one of these early techs. Industrialization is only two workshops. I, I haven't built in a single industrial zone. That's the weirdest thing about this run. My tech has been all over the place. My industry has been all over the place. What am I doing? Some would say. I'm not sure, I would say. But now every hippodrome is going to give me more tanks as well. Look at how many arenas I've got going. How many zoos I've got going. I've got like an infinite supply of troops here now. Another Phoenician city falls as well on the south. Just unlocks more stability, more places to upgrade my troops. Privateers are also being quite handy as well. Boosting through ideology. We're almost at our tier three government now, which is important because I suspect a lot of people will be on tier three. Saying that though, no, there's a lot of oligarchies around. Weird. Guess maybe nobody's really gone crazy on the culture game. No, I'm in joint second and Spain is the only person ahead. And they're still a classical republic. Public. Weird. So many extra tanks, so little time. Industrialization. How much coal have we got? Please be a lot. That's under a mine. Great satisfaction. That can be easily improved. That's under a city. Wonderful. That's under a pillaged mine. We can sort that out. That's under a mine. That's under a city. That's under a mine. That can easily be improved. That's under a district. That's under a district. That's under a mine. That's under a mine. Oh my goodness. I do not remember when I had so much coal in one go. That's got to be a record. God. We've got to have like 20 something incoming in per turn. Something like that, I reckon. Let me find an absolute star, a flagship of the Navy. Oh, Dr. Bobby, it is my honor to provide you with beautiful battleship status. Look at that. And actually, we now improve the city attack of all of my cities considerably as well. I'm actually running out of gold. Unbelievably. That is nuts. I've spent over 5,000 in one turn just on upgrades to tanks. Yeah, we should probably work on that. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of trading. 
trading. And remember to pillage. Always remember to pillage. Let's see how effective this tank is compared to the Curasars. Now I've got 95 base strength and we're attacking with 113. Yeah, that's a little bit better. And I bet I haven't even converted this city. Nope, I absolutely have not because they keep spreading their religion in an annoying way. But don't worry, my debater is here now. So that should be fine. Plus we're attacking and killing the Polish unit as well. Oh, that's really good. Okay, they shouldn't be able to convert that. Let's have a now another look. 116 damage. Bam. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, as fun as that is, you know what would be more fun? Modern armor. Let's do that. That's another city taken from Hungary. We're getting there, you know? Even considering the fact that we don't have enough gold to upgrade all of my units. We don't even need it. Burning a lot of this stuff through. Spreading my religion through. And my tanks can finally hit through the anti-tank crew. That's a huge improvement. Oh, I like that. Right, let's go and fight it off then. Move you to there. Move you to there. And bam. Yep, anti-tank. Go on then. If you think you can, you're very welcome to anti-tank. But unfortunately for you, my tanks are pretty hard. Oh my lord, these naval attacks are strong. Okay, I might be able to actually take out this city easier than I thought. I was worried I wouldn't be able to cross over here, but no, we're all fine. That's just the tanks are now on their way. Tank busting. Oh, there was a military emergency. Uh, do we remember what that was? Oh, Rakadat. <laughs> It's bad, isn't it? When I'm like, uh, what was that emergency? Do we remember what that one was? No, I'm sure it was important. This time, this time the Ottomans don't seem to have reconverted their city. I think finally we've done enough just to really annoy them. Good, good, good. I'll try and move my apostle round now just to, oh God, the land is so annoying. Go and see if we can find these missionaries. Yep, good. I like a plus 12 taxes. Way, way better. One attack, two attacks. Walls are down three. Is that Egypt out of the game as well. It is. My monuments will stand over the glory that was Ramses. Well, maybe it will, but I'm saying it probably won't. Actually, can we make the same insult against Hungary? One attack there, a heal, and then attack. I think we can knock Hungary out on the same turn. I wear the victor's laurels. Can you keep what you've taken? You know, Babylon is actually threatening me pretty hard. I don't actually know the answer to that question. It's a good question, Hungary. Don't worry. I'm after Poland, and now I've got tanks, so we're all good. Rome just took a big hit there. One. One, two big hits, three big hits. Oh, <laughs> oh, Rome. Wouldn't that be a shame if you fell this turn? Oh, wait. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I do not need to tell you what a momentous day this is. We, Byzantium, or otherwise known as the Roman Empire, have just retaken Rome. Our empire spans from the old throne to the new, right over to the most ancient of the Egyptian thrones. But don't worry, I have my eyes on the Ottomans and this side of the empire. We're just biding our time. There's only so many people we can attack at once. 70 cities now. Almost 2,000 score. We're not even started. Not when I have tanks that can just roll along and go, Oh, hello. Goodbye. Do you remember this city was such a stumbling block for me? Now I have tanks. The walls can come down. Yes. Garrett Gowan. Terror of the Danube. Finally. It's just an amazing armada. Battleship armada. 120 strength against cities. Four tiles away. No one is safe. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody is safe at all. It's a neat little update trick that I've got for you here as I've pulled a tank core into the sea. So I'll take a city, for instance, this one, and then I'll pray a tank into the city center. And because this one that I started with doesn't cost strategic resources per turn, now if I make an army out of it, this also doesn't cost oil per turn. Not that I really have a problem with oil, but yeah, it kind of helps. Now I don't remember, does killing military engineers give me a religion burst as Byzantium? I think it does. It does. Ah, oh, because they count as military units, even though they don't have any health. I like that. Listening post. Ah, oh, with the extra taxes boost I've got against Poland now, I think I'm working on an effective plus 15. Hey, that's cool. We like it. Oh, look at all those bonuses stacking up. This tank army has got 135 strength. We've got 12 from taxes, 3 from intel, 10 from crusade, 7 from marauding, 4 from wars of religion. Come on. That's without great generals. Imagine if I had great generals. I must be getting close to great Yeah, I'm starting to actually generate great generals now. <laughs> that often happens on a domination game because the AI puts down so many copies of encampments. Eventually you get there. Tbilisi, by the way, this is the religious center of Georgia. It's protected 3,100 by its own religion, so the chances of me actually spreading that are pretty slim. But I might get Arabias if they keep chucking units at me like this. They just keep hitting my units with weak ones and just dying over and over and over and over. It's wonderful. I think I'm gonna try and take Aleppo with Embarked tanks, which 
is not a clever idea, but something quite tempting about it. Actually, this one, maybe not. This one I will allow to disembark, but I mean, we've got some savagely strong attacks here. 109 strength against the city. This just melts the wall. And 118 takes the city in one go. And we get the unit kill and the city flip bonus as well. So, oh, we're one kill away from Medina. Literally just one kill, please. Feel free game to give that to me. I don't mind. The priority here is to get unit kills. This is how we're going to flip George's religion. I'm not going to bother with the cities. We're just going after the religion and these units are going to be as difficult to kill as possible. It's quite a fun little quest. I'm enjoying it. I tell you what, three turn caravels, six turn caravels. I'm producing so many boats now. It's wonderful. That's not a city I want to produce a boat in. That would go into a lake. <laughs> it's a good thing I spotted that. I haven't really got any traders active. You know what? There are probably some good trade routes I can do now. I'm just so used to them being useless because, I mean, I'm at war the whole time, but let's face it, the AI is definitely not going to stop me now. I have naval supremacy, so we'll keep that going for now. Go on, give me Radom. This has been the bane of my life, this city. Bam, it's mine. Poznan, you will follow my religion if it's the last thing you do, and it may well be the last thing you do. One attack like that, and two attacks. Aquilia falls, and Rome is now just being gobbled up into the Byzantine Empire. It's like they want to rejoin me, which may be true, you know? Come rejoin the true Rome, the, the only Rome, the one Rome. One Rome to rule them all, one Rome to bind them. I mean, whilst we do this, Babylon's like, yeah, go on, man, you, you do what you're doing. See if I mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go and do my end thing and we're like, uh, okay. Uh-oh. Babylon is on Mars. <laughs> we're going quick. We're going quick. But I think we need to go quicker. We almost share a border with them though. Almost. Not quite, but almost. There's ideology. I don't think ideology has anything for me. Press gangs are still really good for my naval dominance. We've got wars of religion, forced modernization, total war. I think it's all good. Liberalism, colonial offices. Most of my economy comes from pillaging. I get so much more from pillaging science and culture than I actually do earning it myself. That's why I'm not really worried about that aspect of it. I mean, look, 450 gold. Now that totally outweighs anything I'd be doing myself. There's another city that falls. Medina fell. <gasps> That's it. That's their religious city. It's gone, which means my taxes is now up at plus 15. Yes. Oh, every unit is almost an army just from sheer religious further. I reckon we can just turn the screw a little bit more, especially with Gary. Garrett Gowan shooting Plock from a distance. Yeah, you think I had four Plock about that, but I hadn't. There's the city. We kill an apostle at the same time, which actually removes even more of their religion. Oh, Poznan is so close to falling, you know. Bang. See how many units we can find on our little journey. There's got to be more. There's got to be more. Actually, Poland has put a lot of spaceports down just for me. They're all for me, right? That's, I mean, clearly they've been built in lands that I'm taking over, so they've, they must mean it for me. Time for the naughty government. Only three turns and I get another plus five combat strength. I don't feel like I'm strong enough in this fight. So many tanks. I'm just making tank upon tank upon tank on this Arabian front line because we're so close to Babylon. This is where the space rockets are going from. This city. Babylon itself. That's where we're headed. Gotta, we got to get to them before they put the fourth project up. Three projects we can last. Four. No, four means we'd have to totally take them out of the game and that would be difficult. And don't get me wrong, we like difficult on this channel but if we can avoid difficult that would also be pretty super cool remember to chop out zoos or better to keep caged animals in than the chopped out natural remnants of their <laughs> wildlife you know it's, it makes total sense i want a nice cage for my tigers let's chop down the rainforest and then we can keep it there just a casual babylon mechanized inventory this is a good test if i had for instance uh like a decently sized tank army a core that'll do let's have a quick look and see what sort of combat we'd have like we wouldn't flatten it but we're still quite favorable so even if babylon has maximum tech as long as i can convert them i think i still have a chance i say a chance i, I they're probably gonna just nuke or bomb me but you never know you never know weirder things have happened kume says goodbye another city from rome falls to the true rome and this is bologna now i don't actually know if bologna is gonna count as a city state or if it was just a tsl named city it looks like it 
it is in the place that the city-state spawns in. So I'm tempted to believe that it is the one and the same. But we'll have a look. It could give us a lot of science, or it could just be another city for us. I, I don't know. I don't know where my priorities are on that one, to be honest. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. Oh, I'm just, I'm just having so much fun upgrading all of my units, though. So much stuff to do. So many places to upgrade. So many units to enjoy. Rome is almost entirely conquered now. They've got one, two, three, four cities, and that's it. That is all of the cities on this eastern side of Phoenicia now taken. We've just got a clump of them here. Maybe I'm going to just follow through and attack Spain. I don't actually know. Spain have got two religions. I didn't realize this. Madrid is the home of the fox and owl cult, but Lisbon, well, Portugal had their own religion, Mithraism, and it's not actually in the game anymore. It was really, really early. But if I can convert Lisbon and Madrid, that's plus six. I mean, it's very far away. We're very ambitious in thinking about that one, but maybe you never know. Oh, this is a lot of fun. 130 strength against Medina. We should be able to push through quite nicely. Damascus. I wonder if on this front, do we go for the gold and the pillaging? Or do I try for speed and just push through? I'm tempted to go for speed, you know? Although actually saying that, that's depredation. <laughs> okay, we'll take all of that science. But yeah, I'm tempted just to keep pushing to get to the Babylon front as quickly as we can. But the time is of the essence now. One attack, two attacks. Rocklaw's taken. Gone. Poznan fall. Oh, nope. Not quite, but close. But did I mention I've got a spec ops now as well? He 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 he. Almost at level three. It's kind of a fascination of mine in recent games. Can I get rangers to level three in the plus 20 ambush? It's very tempting every time I do it. Well, we better get ready to take Poznan on and just pillaging. Well, that helps massively because now we're only four turns away from modern armor. That's a little bit of all right. Oh, a lot of military aid requests. I wonder what could be going on in the world. Oh, military emergency. No. Religious emergency. No. City state emergency? No. Where are all these emergencies coming from, eh? Who knows? Funnily enough, they all went through. Germany has just declared war on me, as has Persia. Interesting. Okay, well, on your heads be it. Germany is very interesting, seeing as my army is literally here and doesn't have much to do after taking on Rome. I was going to just go into France to try and get rid of Catholicism and maybe see if we can get rid of Eleanor's religion at the same time. I don't know. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see how this changes things for me. Um, the hint is going to be it won't change things much. Speed is of the essence now in the conquest of Arabia. Just killing units to spread my religion, getting around the back of Medina. A little bit of pillage. Can we take Damascus? I believe we probably can. Yep, which means I can now get around the back of Medina and take another holy city. This is in my hands now. They can't convert it back if I own it. Well, they can, but I'm not going to let them. It would be very difficult for them to put it that way. Hatten would be another city. This is a free city that's just about to flip to Babylon. Can't let that happen. And as you can see, the first of the Babylonian cities is now flipped to my religion. They have modern armor armies running around. They, they are so strong. This is going to be such a ridiculous like tank mashup. My tanks versus their tanks in ridiculous number. Can't wait. I'm so excited. The battleships are here. And don't forget, Garrett Gowan doesn't like this sort of Polish city just being there. I'm gonna push through, see if we can take the city over with a couple of tanks around the back, which I'm hoping we can do, you know. One. Oh, no, that's not going to quite be enough. Do you have the movement to get around the back there? I don't know. Yes, you do. Amazing. Right, we can take the city there. Um, that's just wonderful. More cities get taken. More and more and more and more. One attack there. Two attacks. Another city and an apostle flips and look, their holy city no longer follows their own religion. Excellent. We do need to find some troops now. They've still got 1,300 military strength, so they should be around. Just in case of finding them. Bologna falls. As I mentioned before, we could liberate it, but I'm going to keep it. At this point, I might as well just keep it. Speaking of, Venice is going to fall as well, and this will just help to push the loyalty into German lands. Don't forget, they declared war on me. So I'm going to argue this is a defensive war. <laughs> Do you think anyone will believe that? Whoa, somehow, somehow you actually managed to take your own religion back temporarily. I, I, I'm pretty amazed at that. Don't worry. I've got apostles in the Ottoman lands just to stop this from happening again, but it's uh, proving slippery to try and keep my religion in the Ottoman lands. They've run out of missionaries there, so at some point they will run out of the ability to just recover, but I'm just going to keep pushing. Totalitarianism. Oh, we are evolving into our final form now. Plus five combat strength. Wall weariness reduced by 15%, plus 50% production towards units. There's a lot of good stuff to love here.
repair. What else would be useful? I'm thinking levy on mass, 168 gold per turn might be quite handy. But I think martial law, 25% less war weariness and some garrison. That's fun. Third alternative, five year plan. Where's logistics? Yeah, logistics. I'm going to put logistics in. It just means my army can readjust and reinforce a little bit quicker. Don't forget, my front lines are massive. They're so far away from each other. Now, do I get religious spread from killing an anti-air gun? I do. Well, that's a lot of fun. Poznan hasn't flipped yet, but it's going to be very close now. I'm actually using an apostle. That's unbelievable. Right, we've just flipped Poland's holy city. We'll double check. Nope, at the moment, the Ottomans haven't managed to reconvert their capital. That means should be up at a delightful, where is it, like plus 18? Plus 15. Have I got this wrong? Which is their holy city? Krakow. Oh, it's one city back. Right, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Poznan isn't the city. That's fine. Don't worry. We still have tanks here everywhere. Literally everywhere. One attack to attack, three attack, pillage, four attack, and I'm going to keep the spaceport alive. I can use it, therefore. Lovely. It's amazing how quickly we can move once we convert a city to our religion. That's the difficult bit. Once we've got that bit, it's fine. Oh, no. Germany has got a quadrarine fleet. Oh, no. Okay, it's fine. I think that's now Venice falling, which should help to push a little bit more into Germany. Again, I could have released these two city-states, but I'm just not feeling it. I'm just all about the total inclusion of city-states into my Byzantine Empire. I, I want everyone to be involved. I want to share the, the good news and wonderments of the Byzantines. What's wrong with that? There's composites, and we've unlocked modern armor. Let me just attack with this Curacao, get the city killed, which is delightful, and now, as you can see, the modern armor upgrade, it's pretty cheap. And all of our tanks are going to get upgraded now, especially if they're already tanks full stop, then it means we've already paid the oil cost, so this is going to be a very cheap upgrade indeed. There it is the first modern armor core staring at me ready to fight it's strong it's very very strong but don't worry i think we're going to be ready to go especially when i start upgrading all of my modern armors here i will take a couple turns just to move my troops to the front line get them upgraded make sure everyone is firing and on top form well, what now that's the most impressive heavy cavalry unit in the game i should i actually get things like banking now <laughs> we know what modern armor is but we don't know what banks are that's a very weird economy. I love it. That's, I'm going to pick up ironclads quickly. Then destroyers. And then missile cruisers. Oh, this will help. The Ottomans are willing to get involved in my war with Babylon. Oh, they're right on the border. That will give them plus five combat strength. But also, just somebody else to distract them. And, oh, Gilgabro is willing to go as well. That's another plus ten combat strength against units. Suddenly, suddenly I feel a little bit better about this whole thing, actually. Now, let's have a quick look and see how the modern armor is shaped up plus 15 on taxes at the moment these are not cores these are not armies these are just regular tank units so we'll just do some pillaging we'll just do some attacking and we'll see how babylon fights back they're probably going to fight back pretty hard they're likely to have some very strong city defenses but that's okay one two modern armor comes in and i believe that is arabia now out of the game victory is changing the hearts of your opponents through gentleness through kindness that's what i'm doing i'm giving everybody a free tank i am just the lovely list that's that's what people need to remember. Okay, here come the armies now up towards Babylon. I'm going to keep an eye out for encampments that I can spawn armies out of because that'll be a bit cheaper. But there's actually no encampments in this area. That's mad. AI must have been really peaceful before I showed up. The dream team is finally reunited. RB Hedge is here. Super Stevo is here. Dr. Bobby is here. Zaf is here. And Carthage cannot survive. The combined force. It's like the Power Rangers are all arriving and transforming forming together. What are you supposed to do about that? You can't. There's nothing you can do. It just is. It's a force of nature. Another Roman city falls. We continue converting. We do all of the good things. We take some more gold for more tank upgrades. We take more cities, which in turn give us more conversions. We kill more units, which does the same thing. And we actually work out, well, through the Alps? What is the best way through here? I think going through Dortmund and then up. They've Germany's built a couple of roads that go north to south. I think that's the easiest way of getting through here. Oh, thank goodness. 
us a unit. Poland had managed to totally pull all units off the front line and it was causing me an inability to actually convert any of their cities, which is pretty cool. It's the anti-Byzantium strat, but luckily they put something on the front line. Did you see that? Only 10 damage to my modern armor from the range defense from Babylon. I don't think they've upgraded to a machine gun yet. Or if they have, actually they probably have. Thinking about it, my modern armor core has 105 plus 15 from Taxus plus Barding, 127 strength against city attacks. So yeah, okay, fair enough. They probably do have machine guns. How late to the party am I? Oh, they are doing the fourth project. I, they are. I, oh, it's going to be really close. Babylon is, is stuck behind a river and I haven't put any religious pressure on them yet at all. Spain is also now in space as well. Oh boy, this is going to be a fight. I can just see it already. Luckily for me, I brought my modern armor to this party and yeah, it's pretty powerful. It's pretty powerful. Each city capture effectively unlocks the one after, which means I can just keep reloading all of my units and you can see even my cavalry have a decent attack now. That one doesn't. We can just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting. How does the modern armor stand up to a winged hussar pretty well? And crack off lips. It was just enough. It was just enough. That's all we needed. All right, everyone wrap in. Everyone wrap in. I've now got plus 18 taxes. We've got an artillery just to start this party. Then we're going to go a one, a two, a three, and four like that. Bam. City's captured. And we've even got some lovely anti-air that I can shoot down. Like so, just to spread my religion even more. And we've unlocked this city. It's like a puzzle. Can I find the correct order to unlock all of the cities? Oh, the fun thing here is that Germany really doesn't have much city strength. So I should be able to drive my tanks through their Alpine cities with not much issue at all. And I'm now converting France over, which is even better. Yeah, just bring the troops in one by one by one. Apparently, yep, I'm just going to get into the lake and attack from there because that's worth it. Don't complain. Don't question it. Just follow the tanks. Always follow the tanks. Well, that was my 100th city, by the way. We're now at 2,651 score, 520 population. Not the best stats. <laughs> <laughs> we have a huge empire and we're doing very little with it, but that's not the point of Byzantium, is it? No, no, no. Byzantium is just about enjoying the ride, making sure that all of your ships are ironclads for no reason whatsoever. They seem to be, and by they I mean the Ottomans seem to be spreading their religion back to their city again. So I'm going to now settle near them just to put more pressure on them. <laughs> It's just the sort of petty thing I'll do. I am the worst ally. I really am the worst ally. Well, Congress. Again, I'm always surprised I'm invited to this, given what I've been doing. But sure, I'm going to trade with scientific city-states because they're all over. And I'm going to ban neutralizing governor. Because I expect that's all that the AI is going to be doing. Actually, you know what? Touch wood. Pingala hasn't been removed or game. I mean, Constantinople is also one of the worst cities in the... Well, one of the worst capitals in this game. But hey, that's not the point. The point is, it's Constantinople. Constantinople, a city of dreams, a beautiful place. Disrupt rocketry has been banned. Oh, I've got another way of disrupting rocketry. Don't worry about that. Speaking of, what can I do with Babylon this turn? Hopefully quite a lot of this cavalry needs to heal itself because you are pretty much dead. Oh, I tell you what, this is just three gold lying everywhere. Thank you. Who would have thought that eco power would be so enriching? Let's do a little bit more pillaging and Borsipa has been taken. Another city flips, another couple of Babylonian cities flip, but Babylon itself, yeah, that's going to be quite difficult to flip to my religion, you know? Going to have to just watch that one. This three city, though, that's easier to flip to me. Oh, Patala Palace. We just took Patala Palace. Nice. I'm still losing a lot of gold per turn. I'm actually going to put colonial taxes in. I'll just take the sting out of my massive 760 gold per turn unit bill, which again, I'm not putting levy on mass in because I'm just sort of enjoying pillaging my way out of the problem. That would be the clever thing to do, you'd think. Oh, see, Miria, oh, I tell you what, Gilgabro, absolutely pulling out the stops. They used a pike and shot to pillage a spaceport. That's wonderful. I mean, unfortunately, there are multiple spaceports and now it's moved to Mari, but this is a very small city. And more importantly, it follows my religion and is on my border. This is good. Frankfurt Falls, which means the Alpine Path has opened up considerably. And there are more troops to kill along the way as well, including these military engineers. They're just really helping me to push my religion turn by turn by turn by turn. 
turn. Another Polish city falls and a anti-tank army that was sat in it just gets absolutely obliterated as well, which is quite nice. And now Munich follows my religion. That's the whole of Germany. Excellent stuff. Another Polish city falls on the south and you can see the religion is proving tricky to shift after this point. Might have to send in another couple of apostles. Luckily, I do have another couple of apostles so we can manually shift this religion if we need to. It's just, it's just petty. I find it beneath me, you know? My tanks should be able to shift a religion without needing to do anything like that. Just feels dirty. Pushing out from Carthage into Phoenician land as well. I just feel like because I'm claiming, well, claiming, because <laughs> I am Rome, Phoenicians being left alive doesn't sit well with me, you know? I feel like our natural enemy, our greatest foe. No, we're going to have to try and push them out. Sidon also taken, and that is both Corsica and Sardinia under my control, as is Sicily. I've even got some more settlers on the way to come and finish that off. Yeah, I'm stealing a lot of settlers. There's a few from Rome. Every time I settle, I'm using them to religion bomb. I'm going to go onto the Spanish coast and go bop and spread my religion to all these cities. Missile cruiser fleet. You see, look, there you go. Babylon does have some strong units. A city strike might be painful if we quit. If we get caught out a little bit. We're not in crusade land. It's a weaker unit that hasn't been upgraded. We'll, we'll keep an eye out. We have arrived in Mari, home of the spaceport. Luckily for me, it doesn't look like the project is anywhere near being finished. The shuttle is still in the hangar and there are no lights on. That's good. That means we've got time. One good thing about attacking Babylon as we are is that we're picking up about 700 settlers. No joke. They are everywhere. There's so much oil in this desert. I imagine there'll be a lot of aluminium once we've found it all as well. Babylonian front is weirdly under control. I'm feeling optimistic. All of their good cities are over here though. That's the only problem. And as soon as Mari isn't the one making the project, it could switch to somewhere like over here where there are industrial zones and Ruhr Valley. We could have a lot of problem if that's what happens because that project is getting finished quick, especially with deity plus plus bonuses. Lodz has fallen, which means that hopefully my apostle, yep, can put the religion on this city, which is brilliant. So we can now go one attack like that and then bring the modern armor and 158 strength that was. That's pretty impressive. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem. I'm focusing now on using my modern armor to make the city attacks. It's substantially stronger. There's the second attack. Third attack, Warsaw Falls. This city is now also flipped, which means I can actually use my tanks on this one now. Oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> yep, we are pushing Poland back. We're almost on the border now. Oh, they've lost all their German cities. Oh no, Germany has lost all their German cities. Poland is in the process of becoming greater Germany. I like that. I feel almost, almost sad that I'm intruding in this business, you know? I like to watch the AI do really cool things every now and then. But I believe the old, inferior, terrible Trajan Rome. I do apologize. Caesar's Rome. Oh, he falls. And now there is only one Rome. The beautiful Rome from Constantinople. Through to the eternal city. It's all wonderful. Well, mm, mostly wonderful. I've added Alhambra to my government, which means I've got a wild card. What do I do? I'll oh, fine. I'll put Levy on mass in. <laughs> Let's go to a positive gold balance for once. This shows you how effective my religion is though. Do you see that? 420 gold per turn from beliefs. 140 cities, 666 population following the glorious religion, the wonderful religion, the only religion. Well, the only one we need anyway. A magnificent boat fleet is wreaking havoc on the Phoenician shores and we are pushing around almost on the Spanish border now. Where do you still have 166 gold per turn coming in from Poland? Like that is a sort of deal that makes me go, well, clearly your empire is still worth conquering, isn't it? If you can produce all that gold. <laughs> Don't like tempt me. Don't lure me in with all of this gold that your empire supposedly is making. That's just going to make me want to conquer you more. Babylonian city of Mari falls. We move on to our next prey, which luckily for us isn't very far away. Here it is up here in Durmuti. One attack, two attacks and three. We should take that next turn. Up in the north, I have been basically doing little ambush wars around Georgia just to try and spread my religion around a bit and it is working slowly but now is the time to be a bit more aggressive and start taking cities. Now the loyalty pressure here is pretty bad. It says minus 23 but because of my naughty government and a unit in there it's actually minus 18. I'll put Victor in. That takes it to minus 10. We've got a bit of time now to upgrade units, build reinforcements, do all the fun things but then Gory is next. We've got some field cannons we can destroy. I reckon we can actually spread our religion quite nicely 
nicely here. We've, oh, we've even trapped in a field cannon. Where are you going to go? I am wondering if planes are needed to push in a little faster. Going for more boats, but I don't need boats. Yeah, let's unlock radio, advanced flight, see where that takes us. I'd be able to get a couple of bombers just to drop bombs over the top of Babylon. City of Munich on the north side of the Alps falls the original capital of Germany. Oh dear. Means I can now bring my battleships in and do a bit of damage to the units and spread my religion just behind enemy lines. As you can see, that has nicely changed things for me here. Oh, my modern armor can get through. Perfect. One attack and oh, is that a two attack wonder on this German city? It is. I will take that. That is an achievement and that is a result. Another Polish city falls on the northern side of the world, which means I'm now pushing in on the original Berlin. Looks like both Germanys were in this game. So Frederick was over there and Ludwig was over here. I guess that explains why there are two sections of Germany. You probably already figured that out. Sometimes Earth is a little bit behind. <laughs> I got there eventually. You know, the Dutch have got a religion of their own, and I'm now seeing it as a prize. Amsterdam, home of Calvinism. Hmm, I wasn't expecting to have to come all the way over here, I'll be honest, but now that I am over here, it's looking like quite the tempting target. You know, I think I'll add Biblos to my collection. Oh, no, nope, apparently I won't. It's going to sit on one health. Delicious. Apparently I won't add Biblos to my collection. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. My named naval units will pull up this city for me instead dead I'm sure and it's taken oh and I think I'm actually converting cities over to, in Spain as well yeah Spain is not gonna like that oh this is a good opportunity to have a bit of a scrap here because we've got two modern armor cores and I'm in crusade territory so I think we can get some good kills and some good religion spread there's one hit and yeah as you can see the modern armors they they pack quite a bit of a punch when I get going oh can I get the cavalry to finish it off yes perfect that spread it around a little bit more and hopefully the modern armor army can just stroll in did you see that 156 attack they are hitting like giant death robots and no less Baghdad also falls just to the south and again it's just spreading the religion around can I push my religion a little bit further into Georgia I think I can because I can condemn a heretic I can kill a field cannon and bam another city falls Tbilisi we've already got a third of the way there oh yeah we like this a lot. Again, this is a minus 20 city. This is not a clever idea, but what it will do is just spread the religion even more. Yep, Spain is not going to like this. Speaking of converting Spain, looks like, oh yeah, Carthage has left a huge amount of navy just floating around right next to Spain's cities. So every time I do this, yep, just throwing more in. Oh yeah, we flipped Vigo, Pamplona. I, I've got to go to war with Spain, haven't I? Do I really have a choice? I don't think I've got a choice. It's just one of those things that just is. It's an inevitability. It just is fact. Oh, look at all these extra kills. One, two. <laughs> And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Clint Hennis, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Skeptical Bear, Cinnamon Beard, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Debel Time, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixomatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68, Technology Poet, Teddy Zersa, Saf, Barnaby Rex, Sharky Bates, Charlie Bears, Flying Dutch Burbs, Nate the Great, Alex Frost, Joseph Bianconi, Interplanet Janet. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye.